everyone. I'm Brock with PDQ, and this is episode nine of our PDQ Connect Getting Started series. We're going to be taking a look at scanners inside of PDQ Connect. So let's go ahead and dive into our console here. To get to the scanners options, we're going to go down to more, and then we're going to select custom scanners. You can see here that we've already got a few created. Uh, and if you, if you do have a big list of scanners here, which you may eventually, you can easily search scanners. So I could search for the registry scanner. So definitely use that search function right here to kind of just weed out the, the or filter for the scanner you're look, looking for. So if I wanted to search for one that was created or ran by me, you can see I can return back those results right there. Well, let's go ahead and hop in and we'll show you how to create a scanner. Hit the create scan button and we'll go ahead and give this a name. Let's do, let's pretend that we've got a, uh, maybe a hack that we're concerned about that might be in our environment. Okay, we're gonna name that hacks. And the type, we're gonna be looking for files and folders. Here are your different options. Currently we have a file as a folder scanner. We also have a registry scanner. Uh, I'm gonna start this example with a files and folder scanner. The path I'm gonna be looking at is gonna be C, going backslash, like a type, no hacks here. I know where the file would be located if it's on a system. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and search subfolders just in case. And the scope we're going to be looking for is a file. The match type we're going to be looking for is contains. And the string, the file we're looking for, is going to, I know it's going to include the word Bitcoin in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save and scan. When you run that, that's going to go ahead and you see right here. Hacks created, all devices will be scanned now. So we're gonna to go to our devices. We are gonna let that scan run. And then we're gonna go ahead and filter for the, op, the, the devices that returned results. So with that filter, we click filter. Here we want to run this files and folders option. File format is gonna be name contains Bitcoin. I could spell that right. Okay, so now we're filtering for the files and folder scanner. We're looking for the name that contains Bitcoin. We'll go ahead and apply that filter. As you can see right here, we've got two devices that that scanner found that file on. If we go into Katara, you'll see we have the files and folders uh, results page right here. Click on that. And right here, you can see that we found the file we're looking for. No hacks here. Turn back now, it's safe. You can see that this was uh, and buried under some uh, subdirectories. So no hacks here, turn back now and say, if I promise rainbows and unicorns past this point, but once you get past all of that, you get to the file we're looking for, pay me in bitcoin.txt, okay? So that's just one example of, you know, you, you know of a file that you want to search for and you can quickly search for it using the files and folder scanner. Now let's take a look. We'll go back into our custom scanners here. Now let's take a look at another scanner that I've already created. This one's called Hibernation Enabled. This one's looking for a specific registry key uh, that will tell you whether or not a device has hibernation enabled or not. We've got our name on there. We've got our type set to registry. Now, when we've got our uh, type set to registry, we have the hive and path options that appear for us. Here we've got the hive, which we're searching the local, local machine hive. The path we're using is system, current control set, control power, okay? Lastly, we're looking for the uh, value here and we're looking for it to equal hibernation enabled. So we've already got that scanner set up and saved. So let's go back to our devices and see what kind of information we're returning. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at the group I've created for this specific uh, registry scanner. So we'll scroll down here. I've, I know I've got one hibernation enabled click on that, you can see which two devices return saying that the hibernation state is enabled on that computer. Let's take a look at the filters though. We'll go up here to the top, we'll click filter. And you can see right here, the filters that we're using to return these results. So we're looking at the registry, name contains hibernate enabled. Okay, that's the, that's the name of the value we're looking for. And the registry value data contains one. Okay, if we change this to does not contain one, and we apply that, that's gonna return all the other computers that don't have it enabled, okay? So that's how easy it is to just change one way or the other, whether you wanna see the computers that have it enabled versus not. 
All right, lastly, let's take a look at a report that I've already created to kind of show this information, show you how you can combine uh, custom scanners with reports to get all the information that you need from your devices. So we'll go to reports here. You can see right here, the report I'm looking for, hibernation enabled, we'll click on that. And you can see that we've already got some information returned here. So we can see which ones have it disabled and you can see which ones we have it that have it enabled. But let's go ahead and edit this so we can see what's going on in the background. You can see that we are grouping this information by the registry value data. And then we've got things like the name, the registry name, hive path, object type. Lastly, we're filtering this by registry name contains hibernate to make sure we're returning the correct information. And just to narrow down the results, I am targeting the Atla group, okay? That's why we only see those four computers right there. Save and run that. We can take a look, another look at this report. Again, we have our computers that have it disabled. We have Eng and Toph. And then we have the computers that have that registry key enabled, and that's Katara and Naira. So just like that, you can combine custom scanners, the, the file and the registry scanner with filters for devices. You can combine that with your reports. So there's tons of great information and stuff you can return with these scanners. And we're gonna add more of these scanners in the future. So look forward to that, okay? Thanks for stopping by guys. Thanks for watching the video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Again, thank you for watching the video, hanging out with me. And uh, for PDQ, I'm Brock.